All right, hey guys. Um, the uh, next review I'm gonna do is um, on the one to one forty four scale high grade Cubile from the high grade Universal Century line. All right, here he is. Um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool looking suit. Um, it's it's really unique. I think it's different than any of the other ones. Um, color scheme is basically, you got blue right here, pink, purple, and white everywhere else, basically. And some gray in the shoulders. Alright, as far as articulation goes, let me get this out of here. Um, the head goes up and down, like that. It can turn that much. That's about all you can get it to do because it's kind of recessed here in this uh, section of the shoulders. It goes down. Um, so that's about as much movement as you're going to get out of it. Um, this chest piece, I'm not sure why, but this moves. I guess it's for like the cockpit. Um, so yeah, that moves. Uh, shoulder armor moves. It uh, goes in and out like this, folds in and out. Um, it can go upwards, and it will go 360, but I don't, I don't want to force it. Um, and it also is on another joint that lets you extend it out, like that. And all four of these uh, wing parts do that, so that's kind of cool. Um, his arms right here. They bend at the elbow that much, yeah, that much. Uh, they go back that much. Um, they can rotate 360. And the hands inside, sorry, this is kind of hard. Uh, the hands will spin around 360. Uh, same for the other arm. Uh, the waist will go 360 if you force it, uh, because the back skirts kind of get in the way. Uh, but I I don't want to force it. It can bend at the waist up and down, a little bit left to right, but mostly just an up and down motion. Uh, on the back, I'm gonna get the head out of the way, it has this back part, which can go up and down. It kind of fits into the back so that you can move it up more, like that. There's a groove for it. But yeah, that part just goes up and down. Um, the side skirts, they kind of, they wiggle around and they can move up and down. But there's not too much motion. See, so you can see that. They don't give you too much motion. Uh, it just popped out. Um, the knees, the knee guards, sorry. Knee guards move like this. The legs move that far forward. And they go that far back. So it's pretty decent for the size of it. It's kind of bulky. The knees bend 90 degrees. And just backwards. The feet are on a ball joint. So they'll swivel around. And this part of the foot actually moves down a bit. So you can see that. And yeah, I think that's all for articulation. Um, it does have kind of like a uh, transformation mode. I wouldn't really call it a transformation, but basically uh, you can tuck the arms up into the, like the uh, shoulder pads and make it look like it's flying, I guess. 
I don't really do that. So, I guess it's kind of cool though. But yeah, the, you can get these wings into some pretty crazy positions. Like, they pretty much do whatever you want. Um, now in the back here, this is kind of weird. Uh, see in here, there's supposed to be missiles in here, but I never bothered putting them in. You can't really tell, but they're, I think they're gray. They're supposed to go in there because he shoots missiles out in the show. Um, the only other accessory it comes with, it comes with two of these uh, green beams. And it comes with the fisted hand like that that can hold the beams. It's kind of loose, but it holds it decently. So the hands can hold the beams like that. And it comes with two of those hands, and then it comes with two open hands, like this one. And it's just basically an open palm. But yeah, I think that's it. Here's, here's the box if you want to see it. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I think it it probably wasn't any more than fifteen. Um, but yeah, there's the one to one forty four high grade Universal Century uh, Cubelet. I'll see you guys at the next review. Thanks.